Uh, we're being joined uh, live now by Professor Amobi Waleke. Uh, just to be sure that we have the right details, uh, Senior Lecturer of Information and Communications Technology Department of FUTO, that's the Federal University of Technology, Uwere. Yes. Thank you so much for joining yeah, us. Good morning. Yes. Now, yeah. what is going to be the effect of the strike on the nation's education? Uh, well, you know that uh, there was an agreement between ASU and the federal government during the uh, Jonathan regime. And that agreement, certain conditions were laid down. Uh, certain things the government will do. There were no infrastructure in most of our universities. Uh, some of the universities in Nigeria could not even make within the first 200 uh, universities in the world. The, the additionally low infrastructure for teaching and learning and research and, uh, prompted us to uh, go on strike at that time. And then uh, the federal government came up that they are going to fulfill those conditions. But up to now, those conditions were not uh, uh, met. Even the salary structure that they agreed to, to, to review, because uh, Nigerian lecturers, lecturers in Nigerian universities were the poorest state all over the world. Even the Republic, Ghana, Cameroon, and so on and so forth. Their lecturers earned more than Nigerian lecturers. Professor, uh, Professor Waleke, if I may, if I may cut in here, how far do you think that this industrial action would take? How far do you think they're willing to go? Because we know they met a couple of times in the past year since the agreement of 2009. Uh, well, uh, the answer, answer will decide and uh, we will go. I'm assuring you that uh, it will go as long as uh, the, until the government fulfill all righteousness. All the agreement uh, reached with uh, ASU. Uh, uh, during the during the uh, Jonathan regime, which the Buhari regime also have agreed to meet those conditions, there are workloads that have not been paid. As I speak to you now, most of the university lecturers are paid in 78 percent of their salary. The remaining nobody knows when it will be paid. This is very very bad. Nobody can work effectively under this type of condition the government is subjecting lecturers to. So that is why we are pressing down that uh, all conditions, all agreements reached between us and the federal government must be made before we can go back to the classroom.